blocked. Ah, just a bit high. The Data Dart Kristen Bunce Darts Review begins right now. What's up guys, World Out here. We got a great video for you today. I am super excited about this one. Some of my longtime viewers know that some of my videos have some twists and turns in them. Kind of like last week's video with the Amber Jacks. That one had a great story behind it. In case you missed that video, check it out. It's well worth a watch. But in this video today, we're gonna take a little bit of a twist because there's a very specific reason why I bought this set of darts to review. But yeah, in today's video, we're we'll going to be taking a close-up look at the data dart, Kristen Bunce darts. He's a young player from Germany with an amazing set of darts. But like I said, there's a very specific reason why I bought this set of darts. So let's roll into this next clip, and I'm going to show you exactly why. Here we go. Okay, so there you go. That's why I'm doing this review today. I want to bring you guys the best possible darts at the best possible prices. That's the main theme of this channel, great darts don't have to cost a lot of money. So the darts on top, the Kristen Bunce darts from Data Dart, 90% tungsten and $35 from Dart Shopper. That's where I bought them, Dart Shopper. I happen to have a 10% off discount code. I'm gonna put that up on the screen right now. Feel free to use that for whatever product you wanna get. But with that discount code, brought these darts down to $35. Now on the bottom, we have got the Trinidad de Sousa darts costing twice as much, $70, same 90% tungsten. And as you see there, twin ring grips on the front of both of them, micro multi rings on the back with the smooth section in the middle. I mean, come on, that's as close as you're gonna get. There are, however, two distinct differences here. On the Bunce darts, they have the rounded nose cone, which I prefer much, much more over the blunt nose cone of the de Sousa darts. Now the other thing, and this is a major one guys, the de Sousa darts near 55 millimeters long, which that's gonna be way too long for most players. The Bunce darts coming in at 48 millimeters even. That's gonna work well for the vast majority of players. Another thing with the de Sousa darts, they're drilled out something like, I don't know, over 30 millimeters deep in the back end, kind of giving them a cheap feel. They, they feel kind of hollow. Not the case for the Bunce darts. They're only drilled out 15 millimeters in the back. You know, it just feels like a nice solid piece of tungsten. So there you go. That's why I'm doing this review today. Half price pretty much compared to the Trinidad darts. So yeah, these data darts, man, they're really checking all the boxes here. But let's get a close up look and run down all these stats and dimensions. Okay, so you've already seen a close up of the darts, so I'll keep this clip short, but this is the cardboard hang case that it came with. And if I did have one complaint, it would be this cheap foam insert that held the darts. When I opened up the package, the darts were clanging together. So this foam insert did not hold the darts well during delivery. So yeah, that was kind of garbage. We yeah, had the darts themselves, like I said, you've already seen a close up of these things. Super, super nice barrels, but we do have the medium length Data Dart nylon stem and the standard size Data Dart Kristen Bunce flight. But let's go into the next clip and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions you need to know, plus more. Okay, good old stats and dimensions time starting up front like we normally do. These come with a 32 millimeter length silver point. Not a fan of silver points at all. However, these stick out of the barrel 28 millimeters long. The barrels themselves, 90% tungsten, the barrel length coming in at 48 millimeters even. In the barrel width, I guess we can go around the smooth section here, 6.3 millimeters wide. And this is a straight barrel dart, so 6.3 millimeters wide for the entire length of the barrel. Now, if I was to unscrew the stem back here, these are drilled out in the back, 15 millimeters deep. And the advertised weight on these things, 21 grams. It came in a little bit light. I'd like to see the actual uh, weight a little bit closer to the advertised weight. The first barrel, 20. 86, the second barrel 20.87, third barrel 20.91. Again, I'd like to see that match weighting a little closer to advertised weight, but overall, five one hundredths of a gram from lightest to heaviest. That's some excellent match weighting in my opinion. But let's get a little bit closer look and I'll tell you about the grip. Okay, so let me hit you with the grip level really quick before we get these things on the board and test them out. Not a grippy dart at all. I don't know, I don't think they look that grippy. The, um, the twin ring grip in the front end, 
There's no sharp edges. Matter of fact, like these ridges on the twin ring grip kind of rounded over. So it's, it's a very smooth dart, very mildly gripped. And interesting enough, these twin ring grips on the front is very consistent grip level with the micro multi rings on the back end. So overall, I'm going to go ahead and give this a grip level 2.2 on a scale of one to five. Again, very mild grip. They're going to come off the fingertips pretty nice. And I'm going to run them just like you see them here. The uh, data dart, the medium length stems a little bit too long for me, but you know, what, what are you going to do? We're just going to go with it. As you see it, we'll keep things simple. Six turns on the board. Here we go. Whew. 27 degrees Celsius, but even more so, it's, it's wicked humid up here. There's a chance I might pass out tonight. It is so warm. So I spent a little extra time warming up. Boy, I was so tempted to switch out these stems and flights. These stems are a little bit too long for my liking. I was seeing some fish tailing and even more annoying, the darts were like leaning over towards the right when they hit the board. It actually rem reminded me a lot of, let me put a video clip up there, Wes Newton. Back, I don't know, 2014, 15-ish, his darts would hit the board and lean over big time towards the right. That's what these were doing more often than not. But hey, enough complaining. Six throws around the board, cricket numbers, 20s through 15s. Whew. I feel like I need to warm up after talking. <clears throat> All right, that one went straight. Oh, can I get over that? Yes. Third dart saver. Yeah, whew. I am dying tonight. Drink a choice, water. All right, so I have a front, front grip. Seems to be working well with these darts. Well, I spoke too soon. Again, whew, third dart is bailing me out. First two darts, not even close. But yeah, I got the front grip going, and like I said in the, in the grip part of the video, it's very consistent. I know there's twin ring grips in the front, micro multi rings in the back, but man, I swear it feels very similar from nose cone to stem. Same grip level, nothing changes. All right, 18s, they've been, uh, they've been kind to me recently. Hey, there we go. Mm. One. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a little over the, all over the board tonight. Again, I just wish I had my own stems and flights. Oh, first start's good. Yeah, if you notice that, it's kind of like a crisscross. I'm looking at the monitor down here. So the first dart leaned over towards the right, and the second dart kind of went the other way. Just bizarre. It fishtailed. That second dart fishtailed. So i got to find a way to get this third dart in there. Ah, 85. But I would be enjoying myself much, much more with my own stems and flights. No doubt about that. All right, so I'm pretty consistent, I guess. A bunch of four marks, five marks. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, 15s, last throw. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Nice. Well, hey, I'll take that. That's a win, I guess. So yeah, a great set of darts. And I was so, again, so, so tempted to use my Cosmo setup. These things would have been going dead straight. But uh, hey, such is life. I can't complain about that, especially under the circumstances. Again, whew, sweating. I'm going to pass out. Couple more clips for you, 180, close up of the 180, and then, well, before the close up, I'll give these a rating. And um, so far, I think they're gonna get a monster score. So here we go, enjoy these last few clips. Get 
in there. Not a very aesthetically pleasing one because you can't see other darts, but hold on, I'll yank them out of here. First one, left hand corner, the next two kind of stacked right on top of one another. Hey, well, there it is, guys. Great place to end the video. We're going to do a close up of that 180 that I just hit. However, before we do that, I want to give these darts a recommendation for your average recreational player and how well they would work for that player. And I think you guys already know these are going to get a monster score. Pro player dart, 90% tungsten, $35. I mean, come on, right there is already a win. However, when you factor in 48 millimeters long, 6.3 millimeters wide, works well for front gripper, rear gripper. It's just a great set of darts. In fact, they're only a repointing away from being almost a perfect 10. But as a result, as is out of the box, 9.4 on a scale of one to 10. That's how nice these darts are. So um, yeah, we'll leave it for you right there. Again, pick these up at Dart Shopper. Link down below in the pinned comment again. There's the discount code. That's going to save you 10% off of anything you order. Feel free to use it. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later.